Good morning everyone, here from El Calafate in Patagonia. We're actually just about to leave El Calafate now. We've just been packing up in our cozy apartment that we stayed at here. And we're gonna be heading to uh, El Shalton and we gotta go by bus. So it's around 7 a.m. right now and we're just gonna head to the bus terminal and our bus is gonna be at eight o'clock. So we're at the bus terminal here. We just got a taxi here because it's not so close to the center. And that's the bus that we're gonna get on right now. It's uh, 2,500 to get to El Shalton per person. And we also got a return ticket to the airport for three days time. So that's also uh, 2,500 as well. As usual, making furry doggo friends in Patagonia. Yeah. All the dogs here are nice and furry. You're dirty. Where have you been sticking your nose? So the bus seems like a really good one. Really spacious, loads of leg rooms. They also have these leg rests that I've seen before as well. Let me try. There we go. Yeah, so that's good. More comfortable. And these might be the chunkiest headrests I've ever seen. Yeah, it's Leather. very comfortable. Yeah. Be able to sleep good on this bus. How long is it? Is it like three hours? Three hours, hours yeah. Three hours, three and a half hours. Uh -huh. it's yeah, not, it's not a long journey, no. Yeah, it's not too bad. And that's the company that we're doing it with, Shelton Travel. So they have an office in town on the main road, and you can book it with them. Alright, so we've just made it in El Shalten at the bus terminal back there. Really, really beautiful drive all the way here. Just loads of mountains and the same kind of dry landscapes that we saw yesterday. But this place looks way better than what we were expecting. I mean, look at the views you get here. Way nicer than Calafate, right? Yeah, I'm not sure how it is in the camera because it's usually smaller than what we are actually seeing. But this place is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Calafate was nothing like this. Here you're in like the center of the mountain, so all around we're surrounded, look. Yeah, we're in a valley, I think. Yeah, it is a valley, right? Yeah. And I think first we're gonna find a place to eat, yeah. and then we'll check I'm into hungry. our spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm starving as well. So this place is also much quieter than uh, Calafate. Way less people around. Like Calafate was uh, packed with families everywhere. But only a few people walking around here. And um, from what we read, this is more like a backpacker, like hiker kind of place. Whereas Calafate is just more uh, families, more older people as well. So yeah, mainly hikers here. And we can see that from yeah, the people that are around. Carol, I think that's the main mountain back there, right? That people come for, that yeah, peak. Yeah, the Fitzroy, I think. Fitzroy. We're planning on hiking to a place where we can see it way better than here. Tomorrow, Tomorrow yeah. yeah. <laughs> restaurants are closed at the moment I think they only open at 12 right yeah <laughs> yeah we got like 40 minutes to wait wow look at this though so the place we're staying isn't in the center of town which is back there we're staying right at the beginning of the trails pretty much which is back that way end of this road so all these here are like uh, restaurants and bars little wooden buildings Mexican food, all right. Got international options, uh, apparently. It's a lot warmer as well, I think, because we're in the valley, protected uh, from the wind, right? So there's no wind at all, and 
yeah because it's the summer it does get really warm i actually got burnt yesterday on the on the glacier <laughs> yeah it's very red very red yeah it's hurting i didn't expect that probably the reflection of the sunlight on the on the ice So we only had like the coordinates to find this place because the name wasn't um, isn't on Google Maps or anything. But we're around here somewhere. Man, look at all these nice little accommodations though. I think it's that one, Las Maras. So we're a bit early for the check-in, but uh, we just called the owner and she said we can just enter the cabin. So it's all good. So this isn't ours here. We're staying in this cabin here. Oh, look how nice this spot is. <laughs> and we didn't know from the photos that we'd get this view. They didn't show this in the photos. Look at this for a view. Beautiful view. Okay, so it is open. It smells good. Yeah. <laughs> smells fresh. And so, here's the bedroom. Got the double bed and a single bed there. And then obviously we've got the heater. Everywhere has a heater in Patagonia. Little dining table, little kitchen. Looks good though. So here we don't have the utensils, we have the moo-tensils. <laughs> and yeah, the bathroom obviously has uh, hot water as well. Like it, Carol? Yeah, I love the the views outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we didn't know we was getting these views, so that's a big plus. So I'll write down how much this place costs. I don't know exactly because we don't have internet right now, so I can't check the exact price on Airbnb. But I know it was around uh, eighty dollars, I think, per day, which is yeah, kind of the price for the cheapest places around here. It is more expensive here than in uh, Calafate overall. So we found this restaurant that has an outside seating area. Majority of the restaurants around here have uh, places to sit outside since the weather's so nice. And as usual, I got the beefy chorizo. I think this is the first time that it's like a reasonable size of the meat. Usually that meat steak would be like the whole plate. <laughs> but yeah, more fries this time. And that's uh, 1,450 pesos. And what did you get over there? A vegetarian burger. Really? Look at the size of that friend. Yeah, it's big. How is it on the inside? Oh, it's got an egg. Yeah, egg and cheese and tomato. And I think the thing's made out of like lentils, right? Yeah, the yeah. patty. Mm -hmm. How much was that again? I forgot. Uh, 1,200 pesos. Oh, okay. So we're on the trail now. This trail also starts right next to um, the place that we're staying. But it's supposed to be a quick one. I think it's only 30 minutes since we only got half day. We're not going to do like a big trail today we'll do the longer ones over the next days the the main ones but the one that we're heading to now has a waterfall This looks like a, a good viewpoint from up here. Hey Carol, there's a nice breeze here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like too hot, right? Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> there's no breeze. At least not in the city or in, on the trail. There's no breeze, but now we found some breeze. Yeah. Yeah, so the wind's coming this way and it wasn't getting around there. So this place out Shalton, it is uh, more greener. I mean, still a lot of like dry areas, but Calafate was uh, completely dry, but around here it is uh, pretty green. It's 
especially down there. Now you can see some other icy peaks over there. I don't think that's one of the ones that you can do a trail to though. Wow, that really is beautiful though, the color of that water. I wonder how come it looks like that. at the waterfall probably took about 40 minutes maybe yeah from the center yeah 40 minutes yeah just very hot to walk yeah wish at it was cooler first, at first it was good to have the sun but then when we started to walk it was going a uphill bit, yeah a bit tiring and hot too yeah and this is a popular spot because it's right next to a main road so you don't really have to do a trail you can come by car or people come on buses tour buses so a lot of people here but that's the waterfall right there, look at that. Pretty cool. Not super big, but also not tiny, so a nice size. You can't swim though. I'm not sure if you'd want to swim anyway in the, <laughs> in the ice cold water here. But pretty good. Just want to do a quick trek from the town, it's worth it. Yeah, uh -huh. That is literally like ice. <laughs> Carol, the water is just as cold as the glacier. Yeah, it's really, really cold. I cannot get uh, put my feet inside because it's freezing. Yeah, yeah, you cool down quickly once you're here because uh, like the water is sprinkling on us from the waterfall, and it's like really cold, sprinkly water. Nice though. So we're back in the downtown area now because we're gonna do trek number two of the day. Not sure how long this one's gonna take. And we're crossing this uh, bridge right now, which is over this river here, Rio Fitzroy. Probably because the water comes from Fitzroy up there. And you can see it's a different color, it's a gray color. So the river that we saw before, the light blue one, is over here coming down from over there. So it is a different one. And the trek that we want to do is at the top of this little mountain here. You can actually see little people up there, but we don't know how you get up there. We don't know if the trail is to the left or to the right, but yeah, we'll work it out or we'll ask somebody. So we found the trail. It's pretty straightforward actually, just uh, across that bridge. It was on the right, so yeah, we're heading up there and the trail just goes all the way around here. You can see people all along it. Carol thinks we're probably walking too much since we have to do a big trail tomorrow. Yeah, I I didn't know it was so uh, like tiring because we thought it would be easier to do tra trails, but yeah. they are a bit harder than I was expecting. Yeah, me too. Especially because there isn't that much wind, like we said, so it's just a lot harder than than we thought. And yeah, like this doesn't look super simple. And you can't really even see the people on the top pretty pretty far up
So this trail that we're doing is called Mirador de los Condores and it probably took about 15 minutes to get here to the top of this part and there's a sign back there saying that there's still uh, 10 more minutes but yeah we're pretty much there yeah and you can see the mountains way better back there gonna see them a lot better tomorrow but we're kind of uh, against the sun so can't see it that clear but yeah you can still make it out either way We made it, Carol. <laughs> now we'll relax here for two hours. <laughs> yeah, the view's better from this spot because you can see the river. Carol, you can actually see where the river's emerging. Like it's half gray, half the, light blue. The different colors. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it looks nice. What a view. Yeah. Wow, that's intense though. Those mountains back there. Yeah, I think that's uh, enough walking for us for today. Walked way more than we expected. Well, we're still gonna walk all the way back home. That's probably gonna take like 40, 50 minutes. Yeah, but we won't be going uphill anymore at least. Definitely worth coming up here though. Even behind, let's go look. See how tiny the town is though. It's like nothing. The taxi driver yesterday said, how many people live here? Uh, 700. Only 700 yeah, people. Yeah, 700. yeah, the majority of the buildings aren't even houses. It's just uh, tourism related, like restaurants, hostels, hotels. back at our cabin now. Carol actually has like an app on her phone that uh, tracks how much we walk all the time and it shows 18 kilometers today which is way more than we plan to walk. Check that out there's actually a guy um, parasailing there. Whoa there's one up there as well. Uh, maybe they go off this um, this rock here. Wow that must be one hell of a view. This one's just coming down right now. I also saw that you can do uh, rock climbing. We saw a rock climber on the rock behind us. So yeah, there's quite a few different options here. Some cool activities. And like I said, tomorrow we're gonna be doing the main trail, which is possibly the best uh, thing to see in Patagonia. A lot of people consider it to be the best thing that you can do in Patagonia. So super excited for that spot. And it's actually the reason that we came here. So. Yeah, we're just gonna rest up now and hopefully we're recovered for tomorrow because it's gonna be a long day. If you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.